Let's talk about one of the finest gentlemen who ever became the president of this country, His Excellency Dr. Hila Liman. But the family of the late president, Dr. Hila Liman, is angry over what they claim to be lack of recognition of the legacy of the late leader by the state. According to the family, the state has continuously failed to appreciate the statesman who served Ghana in humility. Bright Nana Amfo reports construction work on a mausoleum in his honor has stalled, while his relics have been left at the mercy of the weather. He ruled Ghana in 1979, but his rule was short-lived. A coup in 1981 saw him ousted. Here lies the remains of the late Dr. Hilaliman. His family is demanding absolute recognition. They are asking that the state of Ghana does more than what it is doing now in honor of a late president. The alleged poor treatment from the state. They said he stole money, he was corrupt and inaccountable. He didn't uh, 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 undertake projects. But you look at here, all this thing, I was the one who managed to have this thing built. His mother's place is just there. He had stolen nobody's money. And their concerns could be justified. Some of his relics left at the mercy of a wetter. This is only vehicle after being overthrown. This is not all. A mausoleum to honor his name is in a very bad situation. The facility was to be used as a library and also to keep his relics. But this hasn't been realized after so many years. This project was started far away down uh, when President Kufo was in office. Then when he left office, the project came to a standstill. Then until 2012, Ghana Tourist Board came in 2012 continue because they have not this project has not been given to the family that you can use it. even if it is to have been given to the family can it be used liman the fourth is amazed at how the state has neglected the legacy of such a great man at the time that he was overthrown even his passport was confiscated by rollers when he was sick he couldn't go out for treatment and even when he attended the on three occasions, it was his party that paid for uh, his medical bills, not the government. The family explained why they rejected a state burial. When he was sick, you didn't treat him. You weren't taking care of his wife and children. And then when he dies, you say you want to give him a state burial. That's why we said no. You won't give him a state burial. He had a very big and very resourceful uh, people's funeral. He came from the brought him from Accra, from Blanc, through the towns and villages of Ghana. Every president, including the current president, has visited the gravesite of Liman. Former President Rawlings' name is conspicuously absent. The family wants one thing. We want them to take cognizance of him. He is dead. He doesn't need any Peswa or any gold. But his name should be lifted. In fact, it was Kufo also who helped to let them build a hill sec, a last secondary school up there. But look at this. <coughs> we have appealing that they should build a mausoleum for him. You go and see what it is. When it's raining, you see it leaking. We told the Minister of Tourism that they should help us. Restore the library and then help us build a, a mausoleum for him for his name. Because they should know what he has stood for. History has it that this is where he was spawned, though the facility has undergone modernization. Gwalu will continue to host the remains of the late president, but the family is bitter and wants the state to act and act fast. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Gwalu. Right, so as the family continues to demand, uh, make their demands known, we would also want to go a little bit down memory lane and get you some history about Dr. Hilali Man, what he stood for as well as some achievements when he was president of Ghana. So quickly, Dr. Hilali Man was former president of Ghana, was born... Uh, 
1934, December 12, at Golu, Sisala, West District of the Upper West Region, where Brighton and Anfo went to file that story. He had his education at the London School of Economics and Political Science, Sorbonne University, University of London, as well as University of Paris. For his presidential term, he spent 27 months at the presidency, that is from September 24, 1979, to December 31, 19 and same uh, 27 months as spent or was spent by K. A. Buzia, the Professor K. A. Buzia. And he also died in January 23, 1998 in Accra. And talking about his achievements for his 27 months at the presidency, as president, his achievements were widespread and it ranged from the energy sector through to the agriculture sector, as well as transportation, rural development, corporate governance to foreign policy. And a breakdown of some of these achievements at the energy sector, Sector. The hydroelectric dam uh, was one of his works, and President Iman had to raise funds to complete and commission the project within 23 months of his administration. Also, in the transportation area, Dr. Liman introduced Tata buses for a public transport system. The then Minister of Transport, Harry Sawyer, was the one who went to India to negotiate the deal for these Tata buses. In the field of agriculture, Northern Region Irrigation Project for Rice Farmers was by Dr. Liman. That was his baby, and the irrigation system led to bumper harvest of rice to support the Ghanaian economy. Right, so that's uh, the little brief we have from when he was born through his achievements for the 27 months at the presidency. But Isa, looking at yeah. his achievements and works and looking at the family's demands, mm. are they justified from where you stand? I, th I think they are because some of the things that you've just read out are quite... Uh, uh, remarkable. I mm. think I didn't know he did so much for the dam, this country. The irrigation. Yeah, of course. And as they say, what is good for the goose is good for the gander. And President Dekuvado being a human rights lawyer, so this is unfair to Dr. Hila Lehman. I think Dekuvado would definitely do something about it. Okay, so let's see what goes. comes out of on the family's demand. Absolutely. Right. So.